Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the 2013 format. On one side, we've got the Flareon deck, as used by Dylan Bryan, a top 16 player of the World Championships of that year, going up against the Rayquaza Electric deck, as used by Clement Lamberton, the senior division runner-up of 2013. So we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to my Twitter account, at Holland underscore Phantom, so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the battle! And here we go, the battle has started, with both players slipping over their starting Pokemon. On the Flareon side, we've got Drifloon as the active Pokemon, and on the Rayquaza side, we've got Tynamo as the active Pokemon. The Flareon side is going first, playing Terrakion down on their bench, followed by Ultra Ball, discarding two Aldino cards from their hand to search their deck for any one Pokemon. And the one chosen is going to be another Drifloon. So let's see if this Pokemon's going to be coming down onto the bench this turn. Okay, we also see a die coming down to keep track of how many Pokemon in their discard pile. Then we see another Ultra Ball, discarding the Drift Loon that was just added to the hand, and a Trainer card, it didn't get a good look at what it was. Okay, and the next Pokemon chosen is going to be Eevee coming down onto the bench. Here we see the die moving up to a 3, indicating that there's 3 Pokemon in the discard pile so far. This is going to be important to keep track of, as Flareon does get stronger the more Pokemon are in the discard pile. The supporter for the turn is going to be Professor Juniper, discarding the rest of the player's hand to draw seven brand new cards. So let's see if we have any energy coming down or any more Pokemon. There we have a second Eevee coming down onto the bench. And a double colorless energy is equipped onto one of the Eevee. And that's going to be it. Turn passes over to the Rayquaza side. Let's see what they can do. Starting off with the level ball is their item. Searching their deck for any Pokemon with 90 HP or fewer. And the one chosen is going to be another Tynamo, this time coming down onto the bench. These Tynamo are going to be the energy accelerators once they evolve into electric. There we see an Ultra Ball discarding Raikou EX and a Lightning Energy to search their deck for any one Pokemon. And the one chosen is going to be Keldeo EX. There we go. The player is going to be equipping a Float Stone onto Keldeo to give it a free retreat cost, followed by Professor Juniper to discard and draw seven brand new cards. Let's see if they're getting any energy attachments coming down this turn. And yes, the Lightning Energy comes down to the active Tynamo, and it's immediately discarded to pay the retreat cost to promote Keldeo EX. Keldeo normally can jump into the active spot with his ability, but it looks like the player was just trying to thin down their hand to activate their Stadium Tropical Beach. And now they can end their turn by drawing until they have seven cards in hand. And now turn passes over to the Flareon side. A third Eevee comes down to the bench. Let's see if we're going to be having any evolutions coming down this turn. The support is going to be Colress. Now the player can shuffle away their hand to draw one card for every bench Pokemon on both sides. It's going to be a total of six cards being drawn. Yeah, let's see what they get out of these cards. A Fighting Energy comes down to Drifloon, and it's used to pay the retreat cost. And now Eevee is going to be coming into the active spot. Does the player have the Flareon in their hand? No, they're going straight for the attack. Signs of Evolution. Now the player can search their deck for up to three different Eevee Evolution Pokemon. The ones chosen are going to be Flareon, Espeon, and Leafeon. So we're going to be seeing some evolutions coming down in the following turn. Now back over to the Rayquaza side. One of the Tynamo evolves into Electric, and there's another Ultra Ball, discarding N and a Lightning Energy to search their deck for another Pokemon. This time it's going to be Rayquaza EX, it's going to be the main attacker of the deck. Next, the player activates N as her supporter. Now both sides have to shuffle away their hands. And unfortunately for the Flareon player, they have to shuffle away all those evolutions that they just got. And now each player is going to draw six new cards, one for every one of their remaining prizes. Another level ball is played by the Rayquaza player. Searching their deck for... A second Electric. Now they've got access to two Dynamotor abilities. Each one can get back a discarded Lightning Energy to equip onto one of their benched Pokemon. 
So both abilities are being activated. Two lightning energies coming down onto Rayquaza. Rayquaza needs at least one fire energy as well to use its attack. Let's see if the player has it. No, they don't. A third lightning energy is equipped to Rayquaza, and there's Tropical Beach to finish the turn, drawing three cards from the deck. Now back over to the Flareon side. Trebish comes down to the bench. Now the player has a full bench, and they're going to be activating their own N to shuffle and draw six cards. It looks like they didn't get any Flareon to use. Here we see the six cards being drawn by both sides. Let's see what the Flareon player got. Yes, the active Eevee does evolve into Flareon, and so does one of the benched ones. So we've got two Flareon in play. The bench Flareon gets a double colorless energy as well. Oh, and the player's choosing not to attack, opting to instead use Tropical Beach to draw some cards out of the deck, and that's gonna be their turn. Now over to the Rayquaza side once again. A third Tynamo comes down onto the bench. The player just needs one fire energy to attack with Rayquaza. And yes, they have it in hand. Keldeo is going to be retreating for free with its uh, Float Stone to promote Rayquaza. And that will be enough for a one-hit KO. Alright, and there's the attack, Dragon Burst. Discarding three lightning energy, each one hitting for 60 damage for a total of 180 damage to take an easy one-hit KO against Flareon, and that is one prize taken by Rayquaza. The second Flareon comes into the active spot. Now the player is also updating their uh, die counter to indicate that there's now five Pokemon cards in the discard pile, increasing the attack power of Flareon's Vengeance attack. Another Eevee comes down onto the bench. Followed by another N. Now both players have to shuffle away their hands again. Flareon still gets to draw six, but now Rayquaza only gets to draw five, as they just finished taking a prize in the previous turn. Okay, going straight for the attack. Vengeance, hitting for 70 damage. 20 plus 10 more for every Pokemon in the discard pile. On the Rayquaza side, the player activates Level Ball to search their deck for a third Electric. And now they have access to three Dynamotors. So they can attach up to three Lightning Energies from their discard pile every turn. Keldeo activates Rush In to jump into the active spot. And now with Rayquaza on the bench, it can be loaded up with Lightning Energy by the Electric. Yeah, all three of them activate their abilities. Three Lightning Energy come back onto Rayquaza and it's gonna be enough for another one hit KO. The really powerful deck. And now Keldeo is going to be retreating for free again with its Float Stone. There's the attack, another Dragon Burst, once again hitting for 180 damage. And that's two prizes taken by Rayquaza already. And on the Flareon side, that's seven Pokémon in the discard pile, so Vengeance can hit for 90 damage. Drifloon comes up as a new active Pokémon. And then we see Floatstone coming down to Trebish. It just needs to evolve into Garboder to activate its ability. One of the Eevee evolves into Flareon, and Drifloon evolves into Driftlim. Followed by the item Random Receiver. Now the player can reveal cards off the top of their deck until they re reveal a Supporter card to add to their hand. It's a lot of cards being revealed so far, still no Supporters. Let's see what they're going to get. And there we go, finally they get Professor Juniper. And now the rest of the cards can be shuffled back into the deck. So let's see if the player's going to be activating the Professor Juniper this turn. Or if they have any more cards to play before they activate their supporter for the turn. Now no other cards are being played, going straight for Juniper to discard their entire hand to draw another seven cards. I didn't see if they discarded any Pokemon though. But we'll see if they update their die counter. A fighting energy comes down to the Terrakion. And that's going to be it. No other cards are played. Looks like the player forgot to activate Tropical Beach. And now over on the Rayquaza side. Caldeo once again activates Rush In to jump into the active spot. Three Dynamotors are going to load up Rayquaza with three lightning energies. 
and rinse and repeat. That's all they need. Oh, actually, first they have Pokemon Catcher to drag their Flareon into the active spot. So it's going to be getting KO'd before it even gets a chance to attack. There's another Dragon Burst. Taking another one-hit KO. That's three prizes taken, while Flareon has taken none. Okay, now there's nine Pokemon in the discard pile for Flareon. Its Vengeance attack can hit for 110 damage, but they need Flareon and a double colorless energy. A Trebish comes into the active spot. Eevee gets a double colorless energy, now it just needs to evolve. There's another N. Again, both players shuffle. Flareon gets to draw six. Rayquaza now draws only three. Let's see if the player got either Flareon or the Garboder to shut off the electric abilities. A Trebish is going to be retreating to promote Eevee. So that tells me they must have gotten the Flareon. And yes, they did. Flareon comes into the active spot. Another Trebish is put down on the bench. There's the attack, Vengeance! Hitting for 110 damage, which is going to be enough for the KO, finally! And Flareon takes two prizes for knocking out an EX Pokémon. Kaldeo comes into the active spot, and the player activates Super Rod, searching their discard pile for a Fire Energy, Rayquaza, and Raikou to shuffle back into the deck. The player just needs to find a way to get Rayquaza back into the bench to power it up with Electric. They receive Professor Juniper to discard their hand and draw seven brand new cards. Let's see if they got the Rayquaza. Not yet, but they do have Raikou EX. And Electric is going to be powering up Raikou. It's three Lightning Energies coming down. It's going to be enough to use its Volt Bolt attack. And that's going to be the play. Keldeo Retreat to promote Raikou. And next, the player activates Ultra Ball, discarding two cards from their hand to search their deck for any one Pokémon. Choosing Rayquaza. Right, there we go, the player's just making room for the Rayquaza on the bench. Getting it ready to attack on a future turn. There's the attack. It's going to be Volt Bolt. Discarding all three Lightning Energy, but they can hit any Pokémon on the opponent's side for 100 damage, targeting down the Bench Trebish with the tool attached to it to take another KO. So they're anticipating their opponent might have a Garboder waiting in hand. A Computer Search is activated for the Flareon side, discarding Espeon and a Tropical Beach, it looked like, to search their deck for any one card. So let's see what they're going to be getting. And there's a mystery card being chosen. And it is going to be Garboder. It just needs a tool to activate its ability. And it looks like it got it. I can't really tell. The player's making some space. Yes, they got a, a Float Stone equipped onto Garboder. And now that it has a tool attached, it can activate its ability, Garbotoxin, which negates all other abilities in play, meaning that Electric can no longer activate Dynamotor. Followed by another N. Now Flaring gets to draw four cards, while Rayquaza only draws two. Things are not looking good for Rayquaza now. Without access to their energy accelerators, Rayquaza cannot attack. A second Fighting Energy comes down onto the bench Terrakion, just getting it ready to use its Retaliate attack, just in case a Pokémon gets KO'd. There's the attack. Vengeance hitting for 120 damage. On the Rayquaza side, a Fire Energy comes down to Rayquaza, followed by another Professor Juniper. So they got lucky with their draw. Discarding their hand to draw seven new cards. Let's see what they get. Pokemon Catcher is activated to choose the Driftlim to drag into the active spot. So it looks like the player's just trying to stall out the game for a couple of turns to give themselves an opportunity to get back into it. Tropical Beach is activated to draw one card and turn passes. Oh, and the player on the Flareon side can do nothing. They didn't have any way to get this Driftloom out of the active spot, so they activate Tropical Beach and end their turn as well. Back on the Flareon side, sorry, on the Rayquaza side, a Lightning Energy comes onto the bench Rayquaza, and that's going to be it. 
No other cards are played. Back over to Flareon again. Mr. Mime comes down. Mr. Mime has the Bench Barrier ability to protect uh, Bench Pokemon inside of the field, though it is negated right now because of the Garboder. Call Rest is played again to shuffle away the player's hand and draw one card for every Bench Pokemon on both sides, which is going to be a total of nine cards. It's going to be a huge hand. Let's see if they get what they need. Okay, there we see a double colorless energy coming down to Driftblim to retreat it. And now Flareon comes back into the active spot. There's the attack, Vengeance, once again, to take the KO against Raikou. And it's going to be another two prizes taken. So both sides are now tied at two prizes remaining apiece. Keldeo comes up as a new active Pokemon. And Rayquaza gets a second fire energy. Okay, Keldeo is going to be retreating to promote Rayquaza. And now Rayquaza can take the KO against Flareon. Oh, but first they're going to be using Pokemon Catcher to bring up the Garboder. So they're going to be knocking out this Garboder so they can finally have access to their abilities again. There's the attack, Dragon Burst. Dis um, discarding both Fire Energy to hit for 120 damage. And it's another KO. Rayquaza is down to just one more prize. They just got to take one more KO on the following turn to win the game. And with access to three Electric, they might have a chance. Oh, but first the player activates. Random Receiver. Oh, and they got Professor Juniper right away. Flareon just needs three Pokemon in the discard pile to win the game. Let's see if they have them. Professor Juniper discards. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's more than enough. With six more Pokemon in the discard pile, Flareon can take the one-hit KO. There's the attack. Vengeance taking the KO against Rayquaza to take the final two prizes. And there's the handshake. Flareon is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.